I love the crunch. What's up, you guys? Got my boy Paul Dickman right here. He's on the phone. He just got this new epic 39 foot contender. We got a bunch of bait and we're heading offshore. Blowing about 20 knots out of the north right now. So it's probably going to be a little rough offshore. Gonna put the kite up, put some live baits out, see what happens. You ride shotgun. what we've got got some live sardines a little piece of number five wire and a small j hook see what happens it's really rough today but um a lot of times if you can fish on a rough day you're going to catch a nice fish and what we're going to do is we'll put a rod out on each outrigger and basically what these outriggers do is they're going to hold the line and separate it from the boat using a little clip when the fish eats, it's gonna pull it out of the clip and then you'll have them straight on the rod. Sounds complicated, but it's really not. Just got a bite on a short rigger here. This is a big fish. What are we gonna do? <laughs> we gotta go catch this fish or we're gonna get sharked. We're gonna run out of line or what we're gonna no, do? No, 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 you ain't gotta worry about running out of line. This is one of my really good friends, Paul Thigpen. He owns the Paul Thigpen Automotive Group, and about a year ago, he reached out to me, and, and we've been friends ever since. Absolutely. We've done all kinds of stuff. We've alligator hunted, and I mean, fished, and just spent a lot of time around the campfire having a great time. Now, and the great thing about Paul is he always wants to learn. A lot of sharks out here, and we want to make sure we catch them before they do. <laughs> Awesome fish. It feels heavy. This is why you have a boat like this, because it can handle the seas. You can come out on one of these really rough, really nasty days, get your baits out, and catch a fish of a lifetime. You in neutral? God, is heavy. Doing a great job. Thanks, bro. Here comes the leader. Here's the fish right here. Bow hook or what do we have? Oh, it's a tuna, the shark just ate him. Oh. Look at this. Oh my God. Nice tuna, but the shark's right there. Look at the shark's so coming out. Right there. Right there. Look at that. <laughs> the shark's just took a bite out of him. Right there. I saw it do it. Guess what? Guess what? what? We're still eating sushi. I, I'm with it. Oh, that's awesome, great. Awesome, man. Dude. Made it happen. That's a fight right there. There you go. Oh my God. Look, look guys. That, the main reason that I stopped the boat and chased him is because I knew there's a lot of sharks out here. If we wouldn't have done that, they would have eaten them and we would have never known what we had. So, worked out good. I'm using 50 pound mono leader on this one. Hook him right through the clear part of the nose. This is a new boat, so we haven't really had the opportunity to rig things ourselves. But this turnbuckle should be down about right here. And then that would give you a lot more room to run the baits out and works a lot better. We'll fix that, don't worry. This one, I'm gonna put in a pin right here. What that does is that's gonna keep this one down low. We call it a flat line. Okay. Got two little white birds right here. Some of the biggest mahi-mahi I've ever caught in my life have been off of two white birds. I don't know why that is, but it's a fact. See how he's diving down right there? Something's going on. Hold on. He just picked it up again. Might be a sailfish. Sailfish or a small dolphin? Got him. Sailfish! sailfish. First sailfish on the new boat. <laughs> now, easy, easy. He's going to run. We're going to clear the rods. We're going to go to him. Just let him do his thing. 
<laughs> Just let him go. So I'm gonna make a turn like this and we're gonna drive straight to him. Hey, hey. I love it when a plan comes together. I've got Jordan back there holding that second rod just in case we get picked up. Hey, this is a bucket list thing right here, man. Super cool, bro. He's right here, right off the right side of the boat. Okay, now. Hey, a beautiful oh. fish. That's freaking awesome, man. I normally just let them just break them off right there, but this is your first one ever, so we're gonna try to get them by the bill, and I'm gonna get them up for a quick picture, okay? Awesome. Let's do it. Oh. oh, he's probably gonna come up and jump right here. Back up a little bit, Paul. Hand me the leader. Okay, good. Nice fish. Come here, buddy. Come here. Uh, he wants to jump. Let me just back yourself up. All right. There you go. Now, only reel what I give you. Okay. We're only using 50 pound leader. Oh. Gonna get him right here. Look at that. There you go. Wow! Hold on, let me let me get the hook real quick. I'm gonna bring it right here. Right. Grab that, grab him right there. Uh-huh. There you go. Got it? Good. Yeah, come, come, come. Okay. Now. Alright, you guys, hold him and let him go. Hold his bill. Oh, got the finger. <laughs> hey. He got him a bite before he left. <laughs> Hey. I love it. Hey. That's what dreams are made of. Oh, God. One hour, you've caught two firsts. Your first tuna and your first, first tuna. sale. Oh, oh. Straight up. Watch Look out. Look. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, King Mackerel just aired out back there on a long rigger. Oh, what do we have? A Wahoo or a Kingfish? One of the two. Out here in 183 feet of water, it's a little deep. Where's my gap? Jordy, best thing to do is flip it on that outrigger right there and aim it back down like oh, a oh, oh, oh. Nice Ooh, fish right here. That's a nice fish. Beautiful fish. Nice fish. Just watch the tip of the gap. You don't have to yank into them really hard. Hold on. He saw that gap and was like, yeah, oh yeah. my gosh. Got him, yeah! <laughs> nice kingfish. Yes. Watch your leg. What? Hold that gap. Yes, sir. Look at that, y'all. Beautiful. Beautiful kingfish. Caught him slow trolling. Beautiful. Good job, brother. Yes, sir. Let me show you what we're doing here. We're in 187 feet of water. Over here, this is all your contour lines. Shallow up here, deep out here. When you see these lines that are very close to each other, that means there's a steep drop off, going from basically about 90 feet down to 250, 300 feet. Right now, we're 186, right on the edge of that shelf. So if you can imagine, in there it's shallow, then it steeply drops off. There's current running along that, that drop off. We call this spot the edge. The farther north we get, that edge plateaus out and it's a much more gradual drop off. Um, this is a place I really cut my teeth fishing and I love it. Now let's see if we can get another bite. Got it? Cool. Which thing it is, Paul? Same thing. Tuna. It does it definitely not huge. I think it's gonna be delicious, whatever it is. Think it's gonna be delicious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I gotta tell you this. Congratulations <laughs> on this boat. Thanks, this bro. boat is so awesome. From the advice of Robert <laughs> by God Arrington. What would you buy? And I'm like writing it down mentally. 
Oh, uh, okay. What would you not do? Okay. What's that? Yeah, okay. All right. That's it. This 39 contender is my dream boat. I mean, this is, this is my dream boat. Oh, oh, it's a shark after me. Look at the fish is coming to me. The shark is chasing him right to me. Look on the surface out there. Come here, fish. There's a shark, I've seen it. Here comes the fish right on the surface. Oh, it's a little king. Look at him right here. Come here. Hold on. Look at that. Hold on. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh, go ahead. He escaped the jaws of that shark. He gave me a wonderful fight and we turned him loose to do it again. I love it. Hey man. Bro, nice catch. What, more do, you, what more do you want? Like one other out of space in the cool. <laughs> wow. What a great day. That's a freaking epic day. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run in, we're gonna cut that fish, we're gonna make a nice dinner. I want some tuna. It's gonna happen right now, y'all. Yes, I love it, man. We'll see you at the dock. The yeah. first viral video I ever had in my life was right here. Water was dripping here on the, in, the, in the water. A manatee was drinking the water. And really? Yeah, the video went totally viral. I got a million views in a day. That was my first uh, video with a million views. And that's when my channel really, really took off. And I know this is not a silver stag. I normally use my silver stag knives. But Gabe left this knife here and all my knives are at the house, so this is what I'm using. Go right down like that. Do you like to eat tuna? Me? Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I eat tuna two or three days a week. You do? Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. I love tuna. This will be your first time eating Fresh tuna. That's right. That you caught. That's correct. That's really awesome. It's beautiful meat. Wow, oh, look how pretty that is. Now, what you do is never put any, once you fillet it like this, uh -huh. never put any water on it. Why is that? Because the water will, like, it, it, I don't know what it does, but it deteriorates the meat. Really? Yes. So when you're finished, you're, that's it. I will dry it. I will not wash it. What do you think about going back to the house and making some nice seared tuna? God, yeah, I'm thinking winner, about winner chicken dinner. Let's do it. Most people now would Next. wash this off. Don't wash well, it off. When we built this house, we had dreams of having you and our other friends come join us in the kitchen and get fish that that we caught. You told me that when it was just bones. I mean, no That's bones. right. Yeah. Now, do you see how perfect and red that looks? That doesn't look bleached out now. Watch this, watch watch this meat coming. It just, it actually is so sharp. It just pushes through. It just it? pushes through like. You don't even have to. Effortlessly. Say. You know, I don't know if the camera really shows the color in it. It's so deep. Right. I mean, it's right. beautiful. Hey, before we get to cooking, I want to tell you guys, Paul's been my friend now for over a year. Yep. Great friend. Go check him out. This guy does some of the craziest stuff you've ever seen. Maybe a little bit. He's got, he's got a school bus that's like a race car, yep. and he's got all kinds of muscle cars. Yep. And if you want to see me and him do some kind of crazy drag race at the racetrack, Hold on, I'm in on this too. Huh? I'm in. No, seriously. Uh, 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 she's challenging. Yeah. No. I get to do it before you get to this do it. This is what I want to do. I want to find some kind of cool drag strip racetrack somewhere and we do a huge meet and greet. I should, I should take and like line up all the hot rods and just 
you take one, you take one, you take one, you take one, just race, just race them all. See which one. Y'all are gross. No. no, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, check out his Instagram. And and if we if y'all tell us you want us to do this, I didn't even mention this to him. I didn't even think about it until right now. But if this works out, we'll do a huge meet and greet there in South Georgia. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Everyone will show up. Everyone yeah. bring their cars. I don't care, even we'll if it's cook a for everybody. Yeah, we'll have Whatever. a huge meal. Whatever. That's right. Have a huge meal. That's right. Have us a drag race. Burn, burnout content. Dude, I want the school bus. <laughs> I want the school bus. Is all I'm saying. The school bus is 817 horsepower on the dyno, by the way. It is absolutely ridiculous. It liked to kill me. I, I, uh, it got away from me one time. <laughs> it's real. Dude. You got to name that the cool bus. The cool bus. <laughs> All right, let me season this fish up. We're going to use a little original Everglades, just like that. And um, we're, oh, right here, this one, Everglades heat. Hi, baby. What you doing? Mm. And then we're gonna flour it. You guys are gonna have to try this because this is gonna be so good. Did you create this just on the fly? This, this I have recipe? never done. I've never done what I'm about to do in my life. Did you just come up with it in your head and say, I bet that's good? I, when we were in Publix walking I around. I saw when something clicked in your head. I said, he just thought of something. <laughs> I said, hey, and I just went with it. We got our tuna. It's rolled in all-purpose flour. We want to roll it in egg wash, just like that. Put that right there as well. I've never used a panko breadcrumb. Is that it, a spicy breadcrumb? No, it spicy? its its main goal is to become more crunchy. Mmm. This has texture. Right. And then oh, press it in there and get it like let it really just I fall in love. Oh my gosh, you're helping so much, Em. Who thinks Miss Sarah Dawn? should be doing more videos with us. Like she... Hold on, that's not even fair. What do you mean it's not fair? Y'all are going out fishing and I'm stuck home because it's too rough for the kids. Well, yeah, that's true. Let it dry. Then those breadcrumbs are really gonna adhere and be nice. Just watch how this knife effortlessly cuts through that tuna. We're gonna take this like this. And we're just gonna lay these out. And we're just gonna keep spreading them. Take some pickled ginger. I wanna just sprinkle some kosher salt on this. A little sesame oil. And then we're gonna take some roasted sesame seeds. Then we're gonna take some Mm. And it makes it, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, and the, mm. the sauce is sweet. You want to taste that? Mm. Y'all gonna think this is crazy. It tastes almost like peanut. Yes. Like a, you, are you feeling that? It's like, like a, a sweet. Okay, well, hey. Like a, like a sweet. Whatever it is, it's sweet. While y'all are discussing that, I'm about to cook this. Watch this. Mm. Look at that. It's gonna be good, y'all. Okay, so trying to get that nice and brown. Take two forks and just roll it over. What we're looking for is a nice, even golden brown crust on that fish. Using two forks is really the key. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. That's 
something you eat at a restaurant, a fine restaurant. Yeah, you're eating at a fine restaurant. This is called McArrington's. <laughs> <laughs> McArrington's. Can I get mine supersized? <laughs> Whenever I was a kid, and I'd be coming home from baseball practice or a baseball game with my dad, I'd always say, can we go to, can we go to a restaurant? Can we go to a restaurant? Dad would say, yeah, we're going to a restaurant. We're going to McArrington's. McArrington's. I mean, for real. Bro, that's on point. Lord, I want to thank you for this food. Lord, I want to thank you for this time we had together. Lord, I want to thank you for our friends and just the special moments we have. It's been just a wonderful time, as always. And I just thank my friend Robert and his family for opening up their home to me. I thank you for the time that you bless us with. I thank you that you keep us safe and watch over us and guide us, Lord. I thank you for these sweet little babies, Aria and Emma, just the fun times I have when, with them when I come down. Lord, I just give all glory to you. You are the reason we are who we are. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, that's what it's all about, y'all. Close your eyes when you pray. No. Amen. You yes. can take a little bit of, of sesame oil and just run it right down like that. Hook you, me up. You don't have to, but it certainly... Throw it on mine. I'll try it too. Just uh, do you think? gives like a nice a little, little touch. Oh yeah, nutty flavor, and that combined with the soy is a okay. I really. I don't know how to put it in my lap. You didn't have what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All I heard is I didn't have something in my life. I've never had better tuna in my life. Mm. That's the best tuna I've ever eaten in my I life. I love the crunch. No, mm, so good. Now you know what I was thinking in the, when we were in public. I brought one a lot when I was All that background noise is Aria figuring out how to open a piggy bank, and Emma's spilling the cup that Aria put all her change in. Hey, what are you doing with that? I can't mean that. But as far as the fish goes, I, I don't know how I can have tuna regular again. That crunch is like super nice on it. It pops, doesn't it? I mean, it it's does. absolutely it's like, gives it a it's texture. Like you have the flavor, but then you have the texture with it. Mm -hmm. Like, I like that texture. I'm a so, hey, you guys. Today was an epic day, mm -hmm. and I appreciate you guys hanging out with us, but that's all I got for you now. Take care. God bless. We'll see you soon, okay? God bless. Won't be long, but we are.